Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video. I'm not sure if you guys remember uh, this image, but I've edited this image before and most of you guys were asking me, you know, what's the editing process? So I'm going to show you guys how I actually edited this image real quick. It took me a really long time to do it, but I have a different approach today. So um, hopefully I'll be able to do it quickly because I don't want this to be a long video. I didn't do a video last week because I was super busy and I said, you know what, I have to do one today so as you can see i was using the rokonan um 85 millimeter lens and i was using the sony a7 III. and i'm going to show you guys how i actually did it so look at this uh, behind the scenes real quick all right so yeah so that's what i did and as you can see it was at 400 for the iso and i was shooting at 2.8 good so let's get oh and remember guys to follow me on instagram all right so let's get right to the editing real quick. So the first thing you want to do is to um, crop the image because I like to crop my image so it fills the entire uh, screen when I upload it to Instagram. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. You can press C on the keyboard for the crop tool and I'm just going to crop it to right here. I don't think that was the same crop I did but uh, let me bring it down a little bit more like that. Okay, good. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to create a new layer. And I'm just gonna pull it down here and create a new layer and then I'm gonna start the um, frequent separation process I don't really see any pimple on the face to remove so yeah so I'm gonna come over here to the frequent separation you can download the frequent separation action by using the link in the description all right so I'm gonna go down to the low um, layer and then I'm going to get the mixer brush uh, I took all my brush out because I don't want to have too many brushes here when I'm not are too many tools here what I'm not using so I'm on the mixer brush now and um, as I said before I'm gonna take a different approach um, before I was using I think it was F I think it was two percent for the wet at the time when I was doing this but I'm not gonna put my wet at about 30 percent right and if I put my wet at 30 percent what's gonna happen now is that the brush is going to do a drastic um, adjustment so let me just see you know all right so all i'm doing right now is to i want to get this area a little bit lighter so all i'm doing is to select that area that is bright and then i'm just moving it over to the dark area to just brighten it up a little bit and please remember when you're using the mixer brush it's going to flatten your image all right so right here we have light so all i'm doing is just stretch the light up and then stretch it back down good the sides you know the sides are going to be dark so it shapes the nose good then for here i'm going to do the same thing just bit the bright light or the highlighted area and just bring it up this wasn't the editing process but i found out that you know having your wet higher is you know it gives you it is faster to make your adjustment all right so all i'm doing i'm getting the highlighted area and i'm just bringing in the highlight from somewhere else over to the dark area just to brighten up the image and flatten the image at the same time so the hair is dark i'm just going to continue it good perfect all right so you can see the image will still have the texture and the skin um, it still looks good, but it's flattened. So, so the texture may not, you know, be visible, but such is life. But this looks good. Let's look at it before and after. So I'm just going to close this. So before, it's not that different to be honest. After, right. So what we want to do now, we want to zoom up. Let me just uh, open the uh, panel and let's go to the high frequency layer. I'm just going to come over here to the tool here i don't remember the name of this tool a uh, spot healing brush and i'm just going to take out some of these warts just some of them not all of them because if the warts are are anything warts are pimple if they are softened it's best you remove them because it doesn't look natural so you don't want to have them there so that's basically what i'm doing right now i'm just removing the any little you know blemish or pimple well yeah that i don't like and you want to ensure that the spot healing brush tool is small enough to go over the pimple or blemish that you're removing 
um, because you don't want it to it's going to look weird if you have if it's too big and you don't want that so that's that that looks good good all right so the next thing I'm gonna do now is to do some dodge I'm not sure if I'm gonna do any burning but I might do both so I'm just gonna minimize this and then I'm gonna go to dodge then I'm gonna come over here to my brush you can press B on the keyboard for the brush ensure that your opacity is at a hundred percent and also your flow is at, a, at that one um, percent so all I'm gonna do now is to I'm not sure what's happening here oh I think I need to click I'm not sure what's happening okay all right so I'm going to um, get my brush a little bit bigger I'm just gonna highlight this area here and ensure that when you're painting on black your foreground is white all right just gonna highlight here a little bit let me just look at it before and after so all I'm doing is just highlighting the areas that I need to have highlights just the forehead as well so before and after so that's all I did all right so the next step now is to brighten the eyes because the eyes are dark so I'm just gonna come right here to the curves adjustment layer if you can't if you do not have the curve adjustment layer up you go to windows and then you go to adjustments and then you'll have the panel and then you can click the curves so I'm going to bring this up because I want the eyes to be bright all right for some reason it's not bright enough I'm gonna do before I do that let me delete this I'm going to create a new layer Control shift alt E Control J to du duplicate the layer then I'm gonna go to uh, filter camera and I'm gonna press auto and see what it looks like all right so auto looks good what I could do I could adjust the uh, uh, contrast a little bit like maybe that and then shadows like that brighten up the eyes a little bit and right, that looks good I'm just gonna press ok so that's the before and that's the after and then I'm gonna work on the eyes now uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna whiten the eyes I'm gonna come right here to where it says clean teeth and eyes I'm still at 1% so I'm going to move the 1% flow to about 35% and then get my brush smaller by using the left bracket on the keyboard and it's going to paint the eyes. We don't want it to look fake so you don't maybe you don't want to add too much to it so that is good enough for me. Then I'm going to go back to curves and bring up the curves some more. Just trying to get the eyes to pop. And then I'm going to click on the uh, layer here, the curves layer right here and then control I to invert. So what that means is that the brightness is under the black. So ensure that your foreground is, is white when you're painting on black again. And then all you're going to do now is to just paint and it will reveal what you have in the background. Good. All right. So the eyes are not popping because we do not have any fill in the eyes. So we're going to fill the eyes now by creating a new layer. Then I'm going to get the brush. Uh, I think I'm just going to put a dot right there. I don't think that's going to work. I'm just going to use the lasso tool and create a little thing right here. Then I'm going to fill it because I'm already on a layer. I'm just going to press back, uh, no, control backspace. All right, I don't like how that looks. Let me just go to the brush. And I'm gonna go with oh you know what no I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna use a pen tool instead because I don't think a circle would work for me um, pen tool and I'm just gonna do this 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 just that and then I'm gonna right click and then I'm gonna do select make selection I'm gonna put this at zero and then I still I'm still on the um what they call this the layer right here so I'm gonna fill it for some reason I think the entire layer is going to be filled because it's selected but let me see yeah that's exactly what happened so if everything is selected all you have to do now I believe you have to do control shift I 
right control shift i will invert it so it will be the one in the center not around the edge so i'm going to um backspace in that right. and then um i am going to hold on put my phone on silent all right then i'm going to control d to deselect and then i'm going to lower the opacity to about right there good now that look realistic to me <laughs> um i could blur it out a little bit as well let me just come here to filter and then go to blur and then go to gaussian blur right there I think that's it i'm not sure what i did for the the one i did before it was like that let me see if i can find it um where is it where is it, where is it? this one all right i don't know what i did for this one but i think it was something similar i did yeah all right so yeah so i'm gonna use that because i don't know what else to do i'm gonna duplicate it and then move it over to this eye as well like right there good and trust me if you did not know the, the pro if you did not know what was happening you wouldn't never know that you know that's what i did so yeah but you always want to have something to fill the eye so it can you know you can feel like you're connected to the person you know by you know you're looking in that direction so that looks good so yeah so i'm done with that so i'm going to do some color grading now i'm going to create a new layer as usual Control shift alt e create a new layer Control j to duplicate it because you know you want to ensure that you have a layer there that you can always go back to to do anything um, or to just delete so i'm going to go to camera raw and then i'm going to use my preset i have um i have i've done a video recently on how to install the presets and stuff like that uh, you guys can check that out i'm going to put it in the card at the top or i'm going to put it in the description for you to check it out all right so i'm going to delete these i'm going to show you guys how to install them so once you come to um camera raw all you have to do now is to go to the little thing right here that gives you more settings then you're going to go to load and i have downloaded well i've installed them at install i've uploaded them on insta and um in my dropbox account so once you download it you can just click any one of these that you want to use i'm just going to click the warm tone one and so anyway you 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 um download on your computer you go back there and you select it so when you make the selection in order for it to come under here you have to now go back to the um the option right here and then you want to go to save settings and then save and then you want to name it um, whatever you want it to be so it's gonna be warm tone so that is how you have to do it in order to save it under there so I'm just gonna save it I know it's right here so every time you come back here it's going to be here all right so when you make a selection for the uh, um, the preset what you have to do is to adjust it to your image because not all image is going to look good once you apply the preset to it right so what you want to do now is to come here to where it says edit and then all these adjustments here you adjust them uh, the ones that actually controls the preset itself is actually the primary color the primary blue under collaboration and uh where else i think i did some of so i did um dehaze as well so you can adjust that as well so i'm just gonna make the adjustments right now and i believe i did shadows as well but i'm not gonna adjust any of these because i don't think i need to adjust any of these all right good and also i think i uh did colors as well i think color mixer and then i go to the hsl option because i believe i went there as well to make adjustments so you see the yellow the yellows the yellows actually control anything that is yellow in the image <laughs> all right good so i adjusted the yellows oh let me show you the before and after in the meantime and i did not touch the orange i did not do that one so yeah so these are the adjustments that you just have to make selections or make adjustments to so i think i like what i have here but i think i want to darken the image a little bit more so i'm going to go to blocks my blocks like right there 
so that looks good good all right so normally when you add the color grading sometimes you will see where you still have to do some cleaning up at other sections of the um, image so i'm just going to do that now i am on the well i'm going to go to the patch tool and i'm just going to remove this so sometimes when you add colors to their image you'll see other things that you know that will reveal their cells and you have to just remove them all right so that's all i'm doing so remove these all right good so i think i like what i have here i'm just gonna kill the eyes a little bit more that looks good all right perfect so now we have the finished image i could just create another duplicate layer then come here arrange vertical so i'm just going to do the before over on this side good so yeah that's the before and after for the image uh not sure if it's close enough to what i had before let me just get this smaller all right this one is a little bit more darker than this one oh i see i put this over here which looks more natural i think i need to get this a little bit smaller <laughs> yeah so you get the drift guys you get the idea of how i actually edited this image and yeah you can make your adjustments a little bit more so it looks realistic on your image um i wish i could share this image with you guys so you guys can edit along with me but um not all models are okay with their images being edited in different um type of edits so i choose not to share these images with you guys anymore actually because i'd rather have one version of edit because most of you guys are not uploading them to the group only you're uploading them everywhere and i don't i don't like the idea so yes guys so thank you so much for watching and forgive me for not uploading a video last week i was super busy and I said I have to take the time out to do the video this morning and upload it this morning for 9 o'clock. So I have an hour to upload the video now. Thank you guys for watching and remember to follow me on Instagram and stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.